right. Alright, hello everyone, this is Old Nile, after a long absence, had a lot of stuff to do, but in the meantime I have acquired The Witcher 3. I don't have a long history with The Witcher games, I have had The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, for a long time, but something sort of prevented me from actually, you know, taking an interest and getting deeper into the game and actually managing to finish it, which I only did recently and I had it had the game for like at least three years, if not more, on GOG. It's something, I guess it's a little bit more, um, not hardcore, but uh, there's a lot of micromanagement, you know, making your potions, bombs, the combat, you have to be on your toes, it's not, not a casual game, The Witcher 2. Which I guess I, it took some time for me to actually grow up, to appreciate. And in the end it was quite good. Once I actually leveled up and got some cool abilities and, you know, some nice equipment. All of the Witcher games have nice equipment. Well, I mean, I'm not sure, but I don't know about The Witcher 1. I haven't played much of that. Thing is, I first one I played was Witcher 2 and after that I had a look into Witcher 1. But uh, the combat was so different, and the whole game was so different, that I just... I didn't even get as much interest in it initially uh, as I did which, with Witcher 2. So yeah, and now I finished Witcher 2 and I was like, well, The Witcher 3 is on sale, why not give it a try? I've heard it's... Uh, again, it is different from the, uh, the other two games in many aspects, as I have learned. But in a good way. I would say I have um, actually managed to get quite deep into the game, the story. The game world itself is a, a lot better in my opinion because you are no longer following like uh, quote unquote corridors in the game world where you can, you know, do a lot of stuff. I'm not saying you can't explore and, you know, do various side quests and discover secrets in The Witcher 2, but. In The Witcher 3, it's it's just crazy levels. I mean, you have a bunch of uh, different maps, and this is just one map that you can go around and explore. I have, uh, I mean, this is not the first map. The first one is like a rather small area, which was, uh, can't remember the name, White something. Let's see the world map, White Orchard. So this is the initial area. And it's like a little small, uh, smaller world map like a section of the world map actually which sort of eases you into the game and this is where basically it's the tutorial you get a you know a taste of how hubs you know trading hubs where you can find inns uh, smiths traders alchemists you know your average hub so how that that stuff works you can you know ride around on your horse and discover new areas clear out monster nests, take on uh, monster killing contracts, interact with NPCs, make decisions, you know, it's like a tutorial. And after that you can move on to these different areas. Currently we are in Velen, rather uh, interesting uh, swampy and foresty uh, area with a, quite a lot of um, enemy soldiers and bandits more like. I always keep coming to this area, like, look at this place, it's like a giant, I guess it's a war camp, it looks like there's a bunch of tents laid out, and and that's just one corner of this huge map. I can probably sail over here as well, I'm not sure, I haven't tried yet. I also have boats, there's all these question marks, which are, are just places that I haven't discovered yet. So yeah. So far, I'm really impressed by The Witcher 3. 
There's a lot of freedom and just loads of stuff to do. Okay, what I thought we would do today here on this stream is that I would uh, seek a couple of uh, Witcher contracts, which are, aren't exactly, well, not at all spoilery. If, well, I mean, all, the only thing they spoil is the Witcher contract itself, so you don't really find out any details about the story that way, I would guess. They are just, you know, side uh, contracts that you can do for a little extra XP, extra money, some special equipment, maybe. Okay, so let's just see what we have. So no main quests, no secondary quests, just the Witcher contracts. What is this Woodland Beast? Also, this is my first time playing Witcher 3. Maybe that wasn't clear so far, so I really don't know what to expect not what to expect from any of these quests. So everything will be totally new to me. So pardon me if I behave a little bit noobishly here and here and then. Okay, so uh Okay. Dude, what? According to legend, dragons like to savor the delicate notes of virgins, while ghouls delight in the powerful flavors of rotting flesh. In the woods outside Novigrad, meanwhile, a beast had cropped up with a predilection for Redanian transport wagons. Not surprisingly, the captain of the nearby guard post did not appreciate this culinary choice and put out a bounty on the monster's head. Well, I wonder what sort of beast could be enjoying Redanian transport wagons. So, uh... Let's go for that location. Let's find a signpost outside of the little village of Midcops. And use that to fast travel to our location. Shame you can't travel from horseback, but it's not a not a lot of time to get off from your horse anyway. Okay, we have to go here. Which is uh well, not too far from Novigrad. Well, I guess our best bet is to start from the Hangman's Tree. And go from there. <clears throat> okay, here we are. See a couple of wild dogs in the distance. Let's not concern us. Concern ourselves with that now. They are beneath us. Let's call Roach. A trusty horse. Suppose I could hunt some deer while I'm at it. Let's see if I can make the shot. Doesn't look like I did. That didn't hit either. Okay, uh, this time. No. Well, let's just ride in the, the general direction of our quarry, or the quest giver, I'm not sure which. That was a nice hit. Let's just gather some raw meat. Whoa there, Roach. Yep, that's just food. <clears throat> Come on, Roach. Health works a bit different too in this game. I mean, you still have your potions, but you don't actually have to meditate to drink your potions like you had to in The Witcher 2. Uh, you also have food items that you can pretty much drink on the spot the same way as you can with uh, okay they are not enemies the same way as you can with potions now but you are, but you have a limited number of potions that you can drink a maximum of three I think at least from with the potions that I have made so far like the swallow potion which increases your uh, regeneration and you can just eat food to give yourself a quick, quick uh, burst of health when you need it, Most, mostly in battle. And some of them, but I mean simpler food like raw meat that you can collect from, well, animal carcasses, they give you some health, but obviously they are the lowest tier. So like, for instance, the grilled pork is a lot stronger and it lasts longer too, so that's what you can use to give yourself an even bigger boost when you are really, really uh, hurt. Let's actually put something weaker in. Or maybe well, 50 for 10 seconds, and this is 80 for 10 seconds. Okay. Let's just vary it up. Uh -huh. well, 
Okay, let's talk to the captain of the guard. Huh? What do you want? <laughs> Hear about the notice. Got monster trouble? Trouble? <laughs> Good one. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. <laughs> Some shaggy fuck knows what sitting in the woods attacking every plow and transport that dares take the high road. We need after bolts, arrows, rations, all around, fucked. Send a patrol out. Looks never came back. So the job's simple. Bring me that. Oh yeah, we were. Uh, uh, how do they say it? As much as the notice says. Uh, I'm not gonna haggle. Quartermaster won't budge. We were discretion. Discretion is advised. I get you to cross the pontar. So. As you may have noticed from the dialogue so far. See what I can do. Just in case there are people around you who are somewhat more sensitive towards. Cussing and such. Witcher is not a, a bright world. It's actually it's often quite grim and changes the people inside. I mean, it is a war torn area with a lot of rough people in it. Okay, examine the site where the transport was attacked using your Witcher senses. Let's make haste. Turn here. Not too far. The uh, Witcher senses, which were in the previous game, was when you touched your medallion and it sort of scanned the area around you. What? Why am I not there? And it uh, told you which items and just stuff that you can interact with. Are a bit different. You can use them all the time. In Witcher 2, the medallion had a cooldown of a couple of seconds, which slowed things down a bit, but it had a quite a bit of a range. But here, um, you just hold down the right mouse button and you just. Well, for one thing, uh, uh, so the sounds are vis visibly appear, so the sound uh, sources appear, which are most of the time monsters, so if you don't know where the sound is coming from, you just. Use your Witcher senses, and it also highlights like herbs and items that you can pick up. Oh, hello, an old bull. Time for some silver sword action here. Whoa, here you go. Step into the trap, please. Well, all ghouls are a little bit tricky because they have a spiky. Uh, skin which seems to be uh, which seems to damage me whenever I hit them I mean it doesn't look like it damages me now earlier I met a, a stronger type of algo or maybe it but it wasn't uh, a, a different type it was just a higher level algo like a level 15 or something and I was like oh, sure I can take it and turns out I didn't, couldn't take it Okay, let's actually learn what the Alcool is. You just open up your glossary and the bestiary. And well, here you can read info about all the different creatures and enemy types that you can meet during the game. Some of this stuff you find out when you fight that creature for the first time. Other times you learn it from either from people or from books. So you can just come here and if you have trouble with a particular type of creature you can just read uh, read the info and see what it's vulnerable against so let's uh, scroll down and find out what it says about all ghouls all ghouls differ from normal ghouls in size strength coloring and most importantly intelligence whereas ghouls and graviers are primitive creatures unfit to plan even the simplest ambush all ghouls and their kindred such as Semitaurs, almost red cantaurs, are capable of forethought and, less, and are thus much more dangerous. Okay, and they are vulnerable against necrophage oil and the exe sign. Interesting. I suppose that's something I could use against them. You know, stun them with the exe sign for a couple of seconds and move in. Let's give that a try. I mean, these all ghouls aren't particularly strong, so. I should be able to manage even without any. Ok, 
Okay, he does this yell. There we go. Okay, it's done now. Let's go in with a heavy attack. Oh, and it looks like this guy doesn't have the big spikes that the other one had. There we go. I was done. And finish it. There we go. So I guess there are variations among them. Okay, let's do some investigation then. Put away the sword. In this aspect, uh, it's, uh, The Witcher 3 um, is almost like a, a little investigating game, where you have to look around in a certain area and look for clues, kind of like uh, L.A. Noir. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Could be a humanoid. You never know. What about this guy? Nod and nod. Necrophage is fed here. Well, that's certain. And all the wounds they inflicted are post mortem. Yep, so it wasn't the Augles who did the damage here. What about. I mean, I already had a look at this. Nod and nod. Yeah. Necrophage is fed here. What about the, the chest? They inflicted are post -mortem. It's like it's empty. Someone stole the stuff. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Yeah. Oh, so that didn't really reveal anything useful. What about this guy? Look like claw marks, but here, an arrow. Shafts broken off right at the skin. Interesting. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. So maybe they were attacked by someone, I mean, a human with a, or multiple people with, you know, arrows and stuff, and maybe they were interrupted by a beast of some kind. Okay, let's see the, with that survivor, with the, where is it? I guess it, ah, here it is. Okay. Strange how tracks break off here. But they go on in this direction. More creatures up ahead. Could be more ogles. Or drowners, because there's a little river here. Yep, drowners. Hmm. No. Might want to look around some. It's quite a lot of them there. Not even sure if. What's the. What type of. Oh, it's a necrophage. Okay, then you can use necrophage oil to defeat drowners, or the ex or the igni sign, setting them on fire. Okay, gentlemen, I am here. The wait is over. Luckily, they aren't exactly like high level, so and it is a level six quest, so I have no trouble with dispatching a bunch of our ghouls. That's enough of that. Done and done. Let's see. Spoils of war. Drown our brain. Drown our tongue. All sorts of delightful alchemy ingredients. What is this? Hornboard. That's new. For me at least. Okay, where do the tracks continue? They came from that direction and maybe here. Oh, yeah, found them. They go up here. There's like a little town over here. Oh, what's this? One step more and you'll Elf. gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Uh. Well, neither of these are particularly close to what I'm actually doing, but need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. <coughs> Still have me in your sight, and I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. <coughs> I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them. 
and I'll take you to Venosio. Um. Sure. Fine. Lead the way. I can handle myself without weapons anyway. Looks like I found myself a little Scoyotel uh, camp. That gun. Strange. No monsters trouble us. Might not trouble you, but the Redanians are convinced something prowls these woods. Hired me to kill it. Well, they're mistaken. It's not the first time. There's no monster here. Your work is done. <laughs> this isn't a game. Men have died. Soldiers have died. Radovid's soldiers, serving the man who torments the Enshe from the Great Sea to the Blue Mountains. Soldiers who joined in massacres, tortured our brothers, raped our sisters. I shan't cry for them. And we'll not stop attacking those transports. We must eat, same as you. So you've a choice. Leave now and forget what you've seen, or die. Mm -hmm. Well... This explains the arrows, which were found in those bodies, but what about the claw marks and all that? Were they just caused by the algos there? If I had my sword, I would be more confident about telling them that they are just a bunch of bandits, but maybe I can like do something and improvise if things turn ugly. That sense of moral superiority? Tiresome and wrong, your common bandits. Is that so? Then we shall treat you as common bandits would. Defeder Vatgern! Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Here you go. Fire. Fairly certain I can handle this. I just dodge. Dodge forever. Or maybe counter them. When they try to attack. Okay, I can do that without the sword. Never mind. Igni seems to do the damage. But let's uh, add Dragon Stream to the effect. Set them on fire. And throw on one of these bombs among them. Not sure if that actually did anything. Just punch this guy. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. Try harder. I can beat them with my fists. Won't turn your back towards me. Oh, now it exploded. Oh, this lady is a level 9 though. See? I can handle myself without weapons. Here. Well, gather squirrel tails as evidence. Vrihead Brigade Sword. Hmm. That's one of the tails. Okay. Shirt, why not? Chicken sandwich. No shirt. Guess I could have picked up a sword when I had the chance, but I handled it even without it. Okay, okay, let's see here. Here's my stuff. Looks like take all. There. Let's see what, what this sword is like. Well, doesn't look like as... Doesn't seem to be as good as my current one. Which is the Forgotten Ren sword. That's a proper sword right there. That's the Moonblade. I also, they also removed my crossbow. Here you go. And pretty much anything, uh, everything else is just the same, so we're good. I also saw a chest. Let's see, iron, timber, X-Men's gauntlets. Enhanced beast oil, nice. Dwarven spirit and alchemist, useful for making potions. Okay, well, that was taken care of. Anything else of interest? What are these bundles? Oh, I guess I could have just picked that sword up right from the start. Alchemist powder. 
nothing else. All right, let's head back home. What's this? And fiber. Roach. And let's ride back to the camp. Let's go. I'm not sure where the camp actually is. Oh, this looks like a cliff. This little, uh, not a hundred percent sure where I am. Oh, this is where the uh, the archer guy uh, was. So let's ride back quickly. I'm not sure why I get stuck on like pebbles or some kind every now and then, but especially on the roads. This is, I th guess, I think this is where I was stuck on the way here which is a little bit awkward but hey there we go and this was the battlefield and on the other side is the camp anything of interest here on this field no loot War dogs, civilians, boats. Up we go here. Take it easy. So what's with all the people standing on the bridge there? Hey. You're back finally. Did you get the beast? No beast to speak of in the woods. Just elves from a square tail band that attacked the convoys. Here, their squirrel tails. Scoia tell you say. Mm. And I thought we'd exterminated the last of those vermin. And the non-humans left it wised up. Well, seems we'll need to pacify them again. Make a list of all the long ears around and hang every tenth one. That should do it. Maybe not yeah, the best idea. Definitely. I see we're of a mind on this. You're a good man. Here, the gold I promised you. And the pass. Good luck. Pass. What pass? Am I now allowed to? Oh, a letter of safe conduct. I think I already have one of those. Oh, look at this guy. It's like Victor ran up here. Scrub before I lose my patience. Fine then. I guess I can now cross the bridge. Oh, is there a point? It's like a little island in the middle. Well, I suppose we can head over there and see. Maybe it, there's a quick travel point here in the middle. Novigrad border post. I see. Well, there's not a lot of life on this island. Oh, right there. Okay. It's worth coming in here after all. There's a marker. Okay, well, let's have a look at another one. Not the main quest. Not a treasure hunt or witcher contract. The Merry Widow. Geralt took a contract the gravedigger of Lindenvale had hung on the village's notice board. It seemed the village cemetery was full of monsters who seized children as their victims. Well, that needs some solving then. Okay, let's head over to this marker that I have just acquired. Anything of interest here? While, another while. Water, good. Okay, let's go to Lindenvale, I guess. Not too far from here. Well, actually, quite far. And talk to the grave digger. Game is pretty refreshing. I mean, the Witcher series in general. There's not a lot of cliches in it, at least from what I think of it. You don't have you don't have a lot of you know your uh, standard fantasy enemies. There are a lot of interesting characters, a lot of interesting beasts, which are not your standard enemies. So it's just it's just enjoyable to explore the world because of that. 
Are you the person? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hear about the job. Seems you've got a problem. Some graves get dug up. If that were only it. Every now and then, a wild beast would come round the graveyard, devour what's fresh, then move on. Oh. Started again not long past. Thought to myself, just don't step out after dark and lock your door tight. <coughs> but then a young and went missing. From the graveyard? Nay, from the village. Little snotter wouldn't have come here of his own. And I'd heard something like a whimper in the night. Didn't bother to come out, see what was happening. Think me daft. If you've monsters, you need a witcher. Throw that. Okay, what about the reward? Let's talk about my reward. Yeah, you can use this little, well, not a mini game, but it's like an option to haggle for a better price for your reward. I guess you have to be careful, you can't go all the way, because I, I would assume that that would anger the person a lot, so... Let's go for like maybe a healthy two third of the of this bar here. See if he accepts that. No. Nope. Well, that's expecting a lot. Much too much, so to speak. All right, then. How about maybe an extra three hundred thirty thirty crowns? Just the tiniest bit, dear. But we'll settle soon, I can see that. <laughs> Haglin's as much an art as there are lots of other arts. Well said. Okay, well... Okay, how about... Okay, fine. Here you go. Rates fair, considering the job. I know a bit about these things. I mean, he's a gravedigger after all, so... It's not surprising that he... Doesn't have a lot of cash to throw around for contracts like this, but I mean, it is an important job after all. See if I can learn what's out there. Okay, go to the cemetery. Not too far, luckily. I have to go up a hill here. Looks like it, yeah. What? Come on, there. Ah, creatures. What sort of creatures? Wild dogs? Rabbit dogs. Fine. All fine. No, 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 no. It's quite enough of that. Where did you come from? Fools dug up the graves. The stench of decay attracted wild dogs, but neither graves nor dogs steal things. Let's drink a swallow. Just quick here. Ow. Actually, two of them. These are a little bit tougher. Not unexpected from a level 10 quest. I think I am level 10 right now. Ow. Maybe I should... Not crafting, not alchemy. Let's see. Uh, they are necrophages, I think. So, specter, cursed, necrophage oil. Here you go. Also, I just realized I'm not using the right sword to fight these guys. Because against wild dogs, you just use a normal sword, but there you go. That sorts it out. Filth. Venom extract boost blood. Venom extract boost blood. Let's see, do we have some raw meat here? Yep. It's quite a lot of things to pick up. Strix, that's also a new type of herb that I haven't had before. Ranagrin, same. Explore the cemetery using your witcher senses. What's this over here? Dug up. No tools used though. Well. 
that fits the picture so far could have been the ghouls. What's this? Oh, probably just rabbit pelt. All right. Uh, hmm. And this dug up with a hoe? Nope. Claw marks right there. All right. Andrake root. A lot of unique, uh, unique herbs in this cemetery. Stuff that I haven't seen in the game so far. After like ten hours of playing, what's this? Grave's been dug up recently. Smell of cadaverines old though, overripe. Wonder where the stench will lead me. Okay. Anything else to follow here? What's in the actual... Uh, what is this building? Hello? Cavalry trousers? Is that good? Well, not better than my assassin's trousers. I guess it has some value for either crafting or selling. Okay, let's follow this stench. It's like an actual line in the air. Now it's like Batman Arkham Asylum over here following the... the uh, I hear noises. Following the... Uh, I think the alcohol of some guy's uh, little flask right at the start of the game. Okay, let's make a jump here. Okay, whatever this creature is, it has jumps, so uh, jumped all the way, so it has some agility, I suppose. I don't think a human could jump that big of a, a gap with a corpse in tow. Hello? Whatever filth lives here sure chose an unusual place for its lair. Well, what, what is this here? You can use tools. It means it's sapient. Or just plain clever. Hmm. Right. Somebody's doing some cooking. Yes. It's a human femur. A child's. <laughs> Alright. Human skulls in a magic circle. Monsters clearly using them. Drawing strength from the place of power. Gotta be a grave hag. Collected the skulls to draw the power through them. Confidence grew enough, it started prowling the village. We need to take the skulls, force it to go back to the cemetery. I'll get it there. That ought to really piss it off. How to lay low in the cemetery. It's likely to crawl out after dark. Okay, interesting. Grave hag. Have I met a grave hag before? Not sure. Could be a cursed creature, and I have an oil for that. Roach, we have places to go. Oh, that was actually a quite a short route. Suppose I could meditate to replenish my bombs and uh, potions, and actually, I guess it has to be dark, but. Let's, okay, let's just meditate until, like, midnight. Okay. So when you meditate in this game, when you meditate, uh, all your use potions and bombs automatically uh, get uh, replenished. If you have, like, alcohol on you. I guess that's the alcohol hest that you can use. Let's just make a quick save here. There you go there and see what we can do about this grave hag very close to leveling up as well hopefully this quest will do it okay so we're gonna place this uh, these skulls I'm guessing here in the I still don't know what this it's not a chapel maybe a chapel you know, the pace where they uh, put that on display, so to say. 
Uh oh. Gollum? No. <laughs> Thief. Skulls he stole. My skulls. Ought to dig up his own. There she is. Right on cue. Well, what on earth are you? Are you sense? Do you do you like fire? I would assume you don't. Oh. Not sure what sort of creature you are, but seems like you don't like to be stunned. Also, I'm guessing it's a cursed creature, so let's just put a cursed oil on my silver sword. I'm pretty sure it's on a necrophage. Okay, you have some moves and some hits. Ow. Okay, not a good idea. Let's drink some swallow as well. Heavy attacks. There, a couple of good hits. Morn Tart. Is that like its actual name or like a creature type? Could be a creature type here. No, 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 you don't do that. Okay, this oil seems to do the job. Couple of good hits. There. Let's try another trick that I did before. Here we go. Shame it doesn't ignite the uh, the uh, these cloud here. This should. <laughs> My logic was that if a creature is on fire and you throw a dragon stream bomb on it, which is basically a big flammable flammable gas cloud, then the ignited creature would ignite the gas as well and explode. But looks like we have to actually uh, use an igni spell to ignite it. But oh well, worked. Monster eye, monster's fang, Greyfang's ear. Sure, why not? Greyfang trophy, Eden Death. Hmm. The Greyfell Mutagen. Oh, yeah. Whoop. Getting some trophies for ourselves. And there we go. You seem to have lost your head. So, what does this trophy give us? Uh, is this the one? Greyfell Trophy. Bonus experience from humans and non humans. I think I already had one of those. This one, the Night Ray Trophy, it's pretty much the same. And the Noon Ray Trophy, the Griffin Trophy is about chance of dismembering, which I don't think it's very useful. Maybe it's equal to instant kills, but uh, whatever. Alright, well, oh wait, there was a sword as well. What is that sword? Here, Eden Death. Ooh, it's a silver sword, but not as good as the one that I have. Oh well. Looks valuable, so I guess I'll just sell it. Okay, well that was fun. Interesting creature. Let's head back and get our reward. Yep. Mm. <laughs> um, am I not supposed to talk about talk with this guy? Hear about the job, and it's taken care oh, of. Oh, right. It was a grave. Just wasn't yellow. The graves and snatched the child. Aye. So, how is the little tyke? Um. Found him in the grave hag's lair, in her cauldron, to be precise. Want me to go on? Might not even said that much. <laughs> what about my reward? Oh, I've not forgotten, nay. Eh? Here you go. Thanks much for your help. That's what I do. Take care. Hmm, looks like I, I need very little to level up. But, job is done. 
Okay, let's meditate until morning. <clears throat> there. Hmm? What's happening? I didn't do anything. That's it, Roach. Let's see if there's anything of interest in this little village. There's a trader. I guess I could sell some of the stuff I had me. Is there maybe anything new here? No, it's just small notices. Stuff that gives you give you missions are usually like bigger sheets of paper. These are just stuff that you can read, but they don't give you much. All right, let's talk to the merchant then. What are you offering? Got anything interesting? <coughs> let's see here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, these I am way past these sort of weapons, so. Just sell them. Blackjack, I'm not likely to use them. I have this torch since the start of the game. Maybe sometime it will be useful, but I have cat potions which grant you night vision, so I suppose I could sell it. Well, goodbye, torch. The Rehead Brigade Sword, not useful. Maybe I should hang on to this Add and Date Silver Sword and uh, uh, deconstruct it, or what is it like? Take it apart for its components, is what I'm trying to say. Could be useful. A couple of room stones here. Let's sell like two of these. Seem to be well. Oh, actually, it doesn't have a lot of coin. What is this? Tristian and Isidore. Could be something valuable in that alchemy paste. Saddlebags, I already have that. Some cards for Gwent, which is a, actually a pretty interesting card game. Suppose I could play around just for demonstration. I wasn't sure about it initially, but it's actually a pretty decent, nice game. Short lure. Lay out this lure to attract shorts, I guess. Anything valuable here? I have a squirrel tail still. Rabbit pelt. The Xenolux. Oh, so this is heavy and it's just value. Platter. Don't know why I have that. Ashes. Burn leather belt. Gold hide. Gold hide. Broken ore, sure. Okay, this, this will do for now. I think I got a book. Farewell. Let's see what's that about. It didn't show up. It, new books usually show up. And you just have to press a button to read them. Okay, let's see this book. Tristiana did not care a bit for her stepmother's admonitions. She would toss off her ragged foot wrappings and walk barefoot instead. She would wear Kaviri lace and batik knickers under her rough hair shirt. And when dusk fell and the other novices dutifully went to offer their evening prayers, she would slip off quietly and run down to the bay where Isidore awaited her. This merry devil was thick as a barn and had hooves instead of feet. Interesting. But Tristiana liked him all the same, more than anyone else in the world. For him, she broke off her betrothal and defied her family's will. She knew that if their bond was ever discovered, both she and Isidore would be burned at the stake. And so, in the dark hours of night, she planned their escape. So, is this... what is... is it like a creature? Did I learn anything from this? Because the guy apparently had, like, hooves. It's like a new entry in Necrophages. Oh, Grave Hag, right. Huh, so it's vulnerable against Black blood, that's interesting. Necrophage oil. Oh, it was actually a necrophage then. Valuable against Erden and Quen. <laughs> I didn't use any of those, but it worked. 
and the Morn Tart was the actual creature that we fought. So it's like a specific name. But the same stuff applies. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, that's that. Let's play a round of Gwent with this merchant. What? Let's bet some money on this. Then. A game of Gwent. How about it? <laughs> Seems like you have a lot of free time. Okay. So basically the point of this game is that you have 10 cards, which uh, most of them are like battle units that you can, you know, all of them have like a specific power level up, up on the, the upper left corner. And they are, there are infantry, there are archers and there are siege uh, units. I guess I should uh, move on and actually play the game and they'll be better in explaining what this whole thing is about. A lot of siege weapons here. Death Maul. Right now I have to choose two cards to redraw. I'm not sure if I actually have to do two. Maybe I can just, just cancel if... Oh yeah, so that's optional. You can redraw two cards. You know, discard two cards and draw two new ones. If you don't like a couple of particular cards in your starter hand. So, like I said, 10 cards, and you have to uh, put down, um, uh, you know, these cards that you have. Like, for instance, uh, let me just put down another one of this infantry unit, the same one as he has. And the point is that you have to win two rounds, uh, and you can do that by having a bigger cumulative power level than your opponent. Currently he has seven, which adds, he has one here and six, one back there. And you have to have like a higher number. But the trick is that uh, there are separate turns and all you have is the 10 cards that you get initially. So you can't just use all of your cards in one round and move on to the next round because then you would have no cards to put down so obviously that would be a loss so you have to actually be smart about how you uh, how much of your units you actually use in one round okay so uh, what is this here so with this card I can basically decrease the power level of all all siege units on both sides of the battlefield to one so, for instance, if he has a lot of siege units, and I don't put anything back here, I mean, I could, but if I follow this tactic, and he actually uses a lot of siege units, then I could just negate their power quite a lot with this uh, torrential rain. So let's put down another one of this guy, because they would bolster each other's power that way. They have a special ability there. He has pest already. Well, that's not too hard. Guess I could just put down an archer here and pass myself and that way I won the first match. Or the round. Or like, okay. Maybe he has like something good for his second hand. Or maybe he is just not a good Gwent player. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, what is this guy about? Okay, if I had another one of these blue stripes commandos, then they would double each other's power, so that would be useful, but let's put down this foot soldier for starters. Pretty much the same guy that gave me the uh, the, con the contract about the witch uh, witcher, the Scoyotel guys. It was a Redanian, I think, and he looked pretty much the same. Okay, so that's Sabrina Glebisig main character, one of the main uh, with, uh, sorcerers from the previous game. Well, I say that, but she is actually dead at the time when I arrive to the, uh, the location of that part in the game. Okay, seven and he has four. Okay, he's using, using archers right now, so... Hmm. Let's put down another one of these infantry units. 
another archer. If I had a fog guard, that would be very useful. Yeah, oh, that's actually it. Let's use that power then. There we go. Oh, he did the Biting Frost, which does the same thing to infantry on both sides. So right now, my best bet is to use all this, all these siege cards here. I'm guessing he doesn't have one of, you know, torrential rain cards. At this point, he has like three cards left. Uh, the best thing he can do is to put down siege units to be actually effective. No, he doesn't have those. Well, looks like this was a pretty good move for me. I think it would be pretty hard for him to recover from this. Yeah, well. That's that. Let's put down this last one. <laughs> Bit overkill. Oh, nice. Well, I'm just going to pass. Not going to negate the power of my siege units. I guess I win. Yep. So yeah, that's Gwent. Initially it looked complicated and I wasn't sure what the point of the game was, but it's actually pretty good and I received Havocar Healer. A new card. You, you sometimes receive, quite often receive uh, new cards after you defeat someone. Now, should I do one more contract? I think I have time for that. So let's see our Witcher contracts. Well, I mean, okay, all of these are a bit high level. What about a secondary quest, maybe? I could work on work on this. The fall of the House of Reardon. Oh, monsters in the manor. Continuing his tour of rural Velen, Geralt stopped by the village of Lindenvale. There he came across a grief-stricken old woman. The cause of her woe? She was homeless, a monster having made its nest in her family, family manor and forced her into a rental situation elsewhere that had recently proved unaffordable. When Geralt approached her, she asked him to rid her manor of this beast. Did she? I don't remember that, but maybe. I think I just took a contract from a notice board. In return, she gave him a precious token, the key to the chest in which she claimed to keep her life savings. Geralt couldn't refuse to help an elderly, elderly person in need, especially not one so eager to reward him handsomely for it, and so decided to do... Sorry. And so decided to do as she asked. Well, I don't mind doing this. Oh, it's actually... I'm... Oh, I was in Lindenville, looks like. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. What was that about? What's become of me in me older years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. Oh, I Who guess I missed something here. Daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. <laughs> it wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Mm -mm. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. Okay, where is your husband, by the way? I could take care of those monsters for you. Mm. You're a witcher, right? Yes. No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof Fair over question. my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. Hmm. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. That's awful nice of you. Hey, uh, back to weeping. Alright. Do I actually... Should I quick travel? Where is this manor? 
Oh, it's way out there, huh? More offensive group back bow. Well, I guess I'll just right there then. Oh. Where is my horse? There he is. Okay. A little bit farther away, but we can ride there. No problem. Wonder if it will end up being a like a haunted manor sort of situation. Not sure what sort of monsters we're actually dealing with. Might not be monsters at all. Might not, might be something completely different. I mean, she did say that people said that there are monsters there. It's not actually like we haven't seen proof of it yet. Could be some treasure hunters making a lot of noise and trying to make people believe that the place is haunted or infested with monsters. Ah, keeps gets getting stuck with in twigs and such. Okay. Okay, I think we're halfway there now. I don't think I can cut through here. There's a lot of rocks. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Dragon Slayer's Grotto, I'm sorry, what? Go, go. It's a monster then? Wait. Where is that monster? Oh, right. Um, I'm not sure I should go there yet. <laughs> dragon mine might be a little bit too much for me, if there's even a dragon. A lot of creatures, wolves. Okay, but roach, don't do this now. Not a good time, not a good time. And that's a level 20 something. Okay, leaving, leaving. I will be back when I am big enough to fight you guys. I hope that creature is not following me. Oh, that's actually the music. Take it easy. Okay, there is already a creature here. That's a wraith. Silver sword then. Hey, it's okay. I have to use the burden sign. Here you go. Hey. could just ignite you. It's not even paying attention to me. Do you want to play? Hello? The man the old woman mentioned. Come on. It's it just it just bolted. <laughs> ah, getting stuck in trees. Kill the monsters in the manor. Find them. Is this the outhouse? Looks like. Creatures here. Hereabouts. Can I go in? Ooh. Alchemist powder. Same. Sapphire dust. Uh, anything else? Linen. Good. What's up in the hayloft? I think they are called. Some more loot items. I think Zephyr dust is fairly valuable. Saves me the trouble of buying it when I need it. Okay, let's just leave. What's up? What about this building? Winds howling. Dramatic. We'll manage. What about this building? Can I break the door? Yes, I can. It's like a little bed here. So who was sleeping there? Is this like a servant's gnomish pranking as well? Not much use. The Wonders of Zerikania. Okay, I'm not going to read all this right now. Temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. Hear their voice, almost human. Okay, so this is about Zerikania. Not really of any interest. For us right now. 
Well, raids are coming, so let's see if we can do something about this. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Pools are a little bit tricky because you actually have to lure them into a Erdan sign. Otherwise, they are not um, physical, so you can't really damage them very well. No, 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 you don't do that. Come on, you're not done yet. There we go. So, it turns out the place is indeed haunted or infested by creatures. Is one of them in the house? Or. Oh, here. You got stuck. You need help? Come here. Don't be afraid. Done and done. Is that it? What about the chest she was talking about? Maybe it's inside. Good stuff. So this is the manor. It's a little bit squ squalid, is that a word? Oh, that looks like a little chest there. Oh, it's a sturdy barn key. Where this opens. Are we about to stumble into some big old secret here? I'm just gonna hide this. What's that about the chest? Oh, there's a different door here too. What about the picture? Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Yeah. What about the brother though? Where did he disappear to? Ladle. I'm not sure why I pick random stuff like this up, but there you go. What's upstairs? Hmm. Drugs. Mug. Candelabrum. Rope. Fine. I don't need everything from here. Okay, so we found a sturdy barn key. So I would assume that opens something in the barn, <laughs> logically. Uh, can I open this thing? No, that's fairly strong. I'm pretty sure you can get in there. Maybe you have to go up first. Looks like it goes in that direction. Maybe there's a place where you can drop down. Doesn't look like it. Or maybe there's a door to the side. I didn't really have a look here. Aha, yeah. Anything of interest here? There's something to examine. Whoa. Hmm, something here. A chest. What is Dolores. this thing? Dolores? Thought it was like some weird ritual of writing that summoned the creatures. Hello. Oh, there's a bunch of florins that I have to exchange in. No big red. Lived here once. Okay. Wire. Wolf hide. Ooh, I'm about this. Well. What about in here? No, nothing. Well, I guess we are done. I have found the, the treasure she was referring to. Bro, where are you going, Roach? Come on, Roach. Okay, let's go. Slow now. Whoa. I don't think there is a 
Well, I could use the Dragon Slayer's Grotto to quick travel. A little bit cautious about the creatures around here. Maybe I should just follow the path. That is the safest way. I am in Lurch. Okay, I don't think go, I have go. been here yet. Is this place Slow dead? Now. Whoa. Not a lot of life here. And I see smoke coming from here, but no people. Oh, there's a couple of them. The bandits got it to me, you go to help. I think I'll be back later. This looks like a. Oh, hello. Marker. Found one. I'll be back for you guys later. I am hard pressed on time right now. Gotta return to an old lady who doesn't have a roof over her head. inside the inn. What is this? Oh, this here. The inhabitants of the villages of Dunwarren and Lindenville are hereby ordered to report to the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center camp to perform labor for the Empire. Okay, well, doesn't really concern me. Where are you? You've returned. What's become of my home? It's safe. It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? Yeah, pretty generous as rewards go. <laughs> You've earned every last bit. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. There you go. <laughs> the fall of the house of Reardon. Oh, now it's complete. There's still a question mark next to her name. Good day. All right. The Baron's henchman. Aye. Okay. Well, let's call it quits here. This has been a pretty good run. I have. Well, I have leveled up. Let's see what we can do. This is a different thing that they changed up compared to the previous game, because there was like a big tree in the Witcher tree. There was a big skill tree going in like four directions, and you had to decide what you want to spend points on but here it's like you have to spend the point point first and then you have to slot those abilities that you want to use at a given time over here and so meaning that uh, if you level up a lot of stuff that doesn't mean that uh, all of them will be active you just have to you know d decide what what's useful in a certain situation but you can do that on the fly you don't have to meditate or anything to do that and if you have like a um, a particular mutagen of a particular color, like this one is red, and you pair it up, you know, with, with uh, abilities which are also red, then those abilities give it, uh, like it multiplies the basic basic effect. So this one is 5% attack to power, but it is because it's uh, next to three other, like, red um, abilities, then that adds, like, 15% uh, more. So... That's pretty beastly. And same goes with sign intensity here. So you have to like do a little management here of you know utilizing your abilities, pairing them up with the appropriate um, mutagens so so that you can get the most out of your abilities and the mutagens. So let's see what we can level up. Maybe uh when I when will I get the next slot? 12. I'm, okay, that won't be very far. Hmm. Well, I don't have this slotted yet. What about the bomb? Potion duration time is useful. What about combat abilities? Fast, fast attack, critical hit, critical hit damage. Decent.
Maybe I should upgrade the, you know, the signs that I use the most. Igni and Ard. Let's upgrade Ard. That's like an all-purpose thing that you do. Oops, what the hell happened? What did I do? <laughs> did I... Wait, what did I even level up right now? Oh, this got removed for some reason. Oh, did I accidentally upgrade muscle memory? Oh no, I didn't. I just removed it because... I'm not sure. Anyway, let's upgrade art. There, now it's good. Do I have any cool mutagens I can use? Sign intensity. Oh yeah, that's good. Can I upgrade this? These other stuff. Let's go over to alchemy. I can make a green mutagen, which, which is about vitality. There you go. Let's make another one. I can make a greater green mutagen. Very nice. What about... Well, nothing else right now. Decoctions. Cockatrice decoction. All alchemy creations can be used one additional time. Good stuff. So meaning one more potion, one more bomb, I guess. Not bad. Griffin. Taking damage raises damage resistance. Okay. And Wraith. Single hit drains more than a third of vitality. Quen sign is activated. So if someone hits you really hard, then a Quen is automatically uh, activated. It's not too bad either. Okay. Well, that's that. Okay, well, I'll be ending it here. I have stuff to do RL, so uh, thank you for joining me for my exploration of The Witcher 3. I might continue uh, streaming stuff. I mean, The Witcher 3 later on, because this is fairly great. I like exploring uh, Temeria and... Well, The Witcher 3 in general, and doing stuff for people, and meeting. I'm in the middle of a speech here, kid. That's right. Go, go back to your barrel. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.